It is April 1st. My name is Jonathan Carlin, and my challenge to myself for the entire month of April is to ride this Peloton bike all 30 days in a row. Let's go. And pause. Hey, I'm at my office now, if you can't tell. Okay, so before I get too far into this challenge, I figured maybe I should address why am I doing this at all? And really, it's several reasons. So first, I should mention this Peloton is not like a brand new purchase or anything. I've actually owned it since about the beginning of 2020. It was definitely a COVID uh, purchase. We're stuck inside. We need a way to exercise kind of thing. And as such, when we first got it, I used it quite a bit. I mean, I was working from home, so it was really easy to just duck out of my office during like lunch, go get a ride in or take off a little bit early and try and do that before I headed upstairs to go get dinner with the kids. And it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I mean, I couldn't go to the gym anymore again because of, you know, quarantine. So that was a real bummer. But not only was it just a way to work out, but it actually sort of springboarded me into actual mountain biking like on my real bike outside which by the way i've heard people say before they don't think stationary bikes really transfer to outdoor biking and i don't know i don't know why people say that i found the exact opposite to be true like once i got out there i was like primed and ready to go i mean i still had to pick up a lot of technical skills because mountain biking is like very challenging but as far as the endurance and muscles i had that that said though over the past year my time actually on the peloton has waned a lot and i suffered a couple of like actual crashes on my bike that effectively sized sidelined me for several months. And then after I was kind of recovered, it was actually kind of okay to start going back to the gym again. So I just started doing that. And my time biking in any way just sort of went dormant entirely. I only ever really did it sometimes on the Peloton and even then just on a whim. And so recently I had one of those whims. I decided to get on and I realized I hadn't ridden in five months. Like it didn't feel like that long, but I was like, whoa, I am really out of it. So recently I have been looking for a kind of challenge to take on and bike Biking in general is just kind of important to me. So this seemed like a really fun challenge to just try and complete. Can I do it for 30 days? The only real parameters I have going is that I have to do it at least once every day and that each ride has to be at least 20 minutes long. So no, I'm not specifically doing this to like lose weight or get in shape or anything like that. It's mostly just about the challenge and seeing if I can do it. But that said, it is a fitness challenge, so I would be remiss if I didn't take a before and after picture. So here you go. Here's what I look like right now. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how I look right now. Um, obviously, that's my son, Luke. He is he was not happy about taking this picture. But either way, I'm very curious to see uh, if there's any sort of big transformation by the end of the month. I'm not expecting anything major, but I guess we'll see. You guys like my two-year-old's birthday balloon back there from early February? Me too. All right, ride number one is complete. It is barely 7.30. All of the kids are still sleeping. Beth's out on a run. We're off to a good start and a good start to the day. All right, day three on the Peloton. Beth here has convinced me to do the Peloton. I haven't done this before. The Peloton game called Lane Break. It's like, I don't either. It's like Peloton meets gaming a little. You got this little wheel and you turn the resistance knob to move your wheel left to right to like uh, earn higher points. So uh, I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty hard. We just did a little tutorial. And uh, I can see it being very motivating though. What do you think? Oh, it sounds right up your alley. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like peering over his shoulder until it gets started to see how it works. All right, we've got the pop essentials mix. I'll report back when I'm done, see how we go. I think it's gonna be hard. This also gave me a nice little warm up though, just doing the tutorial, so that's good. Oh man, here we go. I'm like suddenly nervous. I'm like, all right, let's go. All right, so it's nice, easy warm up. This is good, because a lot of times when I'm doing the instructors, I'll just put it higher than what they say to get more output. But this way you get more points by actually doing what it says, so. <laughs> I already missed some points for breaking the cadence. Slacking. Slacking. Ooh, okay, first lane break ever complete. I have to say, pretty interesting. In fact, if you look at uh, 
yesterday. Here's my yesterday ride. It's a 20 minute climb ride, which is 209. And my ride today was at 220. So I actually got 11 points higher, which is particularly interesting to me because beforehand, I would have told you that doing climb rides was definitely the way to PR. And I did a climb ride yesterday for 20 minutes and it's 11 points shorter. So that's pretty interesting. It is a definite, the gamification definitely was motivating to me. Ugh, okay, it is Monday morning in Peloton, day four. And I think what is gonna be really tricky about today and Wednesdays and most Mondays and Wednesdays moving forward is that they are the days that I already work out, like go to the gym and lift weights. So I either have to work out uh, when I get home from work, which would be my second workout that day, or I have to work out uh, before I go to my workout, which is what I'm trying today, which means by 8.30 today, I will have uh, already worked out twice, which either means I'm gonna be like wide awake or like super tired, or, or maybe both. Maybe I'll just be super tired later. But um, this is uh, my experiment for how to do Mondays and Wednesdays. Whew. Let's go. The good news is I don't have to go all that crazy on every single ride. Still going for 30 minutes. And I chose a Disney ride to do, so at least it's kind of a fun one to do. Speaking of being tired all the time though, something I failed to consider when starting this challenge for the whole month was that uh, Ben and I, that's my brother, he's right over there. Hey Ben! What's happening? No, I'm uh, just introducing you. Oh, you're introducing me? Yeah. I'm Ben. Hi, that's Ben. Hi. We both just decided to order treadmill desks and they have arrived and uh, been using them a lot. I actually really like it, but I really, one, uh, underestimated how much the walking would affect my tiredness. So um, I'm definitely gonna keep on using it and we're probably not gonna make any adjustments, but that's just like, even more cardio we're piling on this month. All right, we are several days into the challenge. Not gonna lie, definitely tired, but feeling pretty good overall. It is definitely, uh, it, you don't realize how quickly the next day is coming until all of a sudden, like you finish it, and you're like, oh, I'm done for the day. And then it's like, oh, it's t tomorrow is really, okay, it's right there. Anyway, something I've decided I think would be a fun milestone for the challenge is to try and do the same ride on the last day that I did on day one. So day one, I did the Disney ride and I'm gonna try and see how much I can improve by that point. Um, interestingly, I was also looking at past some of my past workouts because as I said, this is, um, this is not like a new purchase for me. So I've got a ton of workouts like from the past log and I looked at my current 30 minute PR time or PR output and it is 361. You determine the, um, output on the bike by like, uh, your cadence and uh, resistance. It does some sort of math in the background, averages it out, gives you a big score at the end. It's it's sometimes kind of fun to like try and see how far you can push it. That is my current output PR, 361. Um, that was that was a while ago when I was in like pretty good bike shape though, like going uh, actual mountain biking for hours and hours at a time in real life. So I'm not I'm not thinking I'm going to beat that because I'm kind of coming into this a little bit cold. But uh, I will be curious to see how close we can get by the end of 30 days. Um, that was also on a particularly um, difficult, challenging ride, like a climb ride, whereas the Disney ride was just sort of you know, uh, a regular, just sort of fun ride. So I don't, um, it's not, not that I couldn't break it at any other point, but I guess we'll see. That's my challenge. We'll see how much I improve. Well, we are on day eight of the Peloton challenge and it's definitely been the hardest day to find the time. My alarm went off at 6.30 this morning, but I could not summon the strength to get out of bed. Uh, we went to The Bachelor Live last night, which was uh, actually pretty fun. Uh, we got wine because, you know, it was Bachelor. And we asked for large wine. Uh, and boy, they said large, but I think what they meant was wombo. I mean, look at the size of these glasses. Uh, so that wasn't helping. Plus, then uh, we were up later because we were out. Then my son, also uh, Luke, also got up at 3 in the morning. Had to go tuck him back in. I was up for like an extra hour and a half in the middle of the night. And I just woke up feeling super congested with allergies. So a lot of things converged right at 6.30. 
and I couldn't do it. And I thought, well, that's okay. I will uh, just do it as soon as I get home from work. No big deal. But I couldn't because Ben and Alice were coming over for dinner tonight. And I was like, you know what? Nobody does Friday. I'll just send everybody home early. I'll come home early. I'll do it before they get there, right? Also couldn't because we had a Patreon hangout with some uh, people today, which was a lot of fun, but was just, uh, it was from three to five. So couldn't do that either. So anyway, uh, did the hangout. Ben and Alice came over. Beth's putting the kids to sleep. And now I'm going to do a 20 minute recovery ride because you know what? I've been going pretty hard this week. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Whew. Here comes Luke. Hey, are you going to hang out while I do the ride? Welcome to the first 20 minute low impact ride. Super close to be here with me today. Luke, you going to hang out while I do the ride? <laughs> this is what the rest of the room looks like, by the way. You doing a trampoline workout, Luke? Yeah. Nice. You're doing a really good job. He has legit been jumping for like 15 minutes straight. He wanted to do an exercise too. Also, I had to take my shirt off because long sleeves is a bad idea even for a low impact ride. It's actually like super nice out today, so I'm going for a walk outside. So one of the things I quickly learned doing the rides every day is that I don't have to go completely all out every single day, which is different from how I used to interact with the Peloton because like every time I'd only do it like every couple of days and I'd be like, well, I'm gonna come do a workout. I might as well go really hard. But if you're going every single day. Oh, you guys got an electric skateboard, that was pretty cool. Ooh, check this out. I just found this cool biking sculpture down here. I've never seen this before. How appropriate. Anyway, what I was saying, I did the low impact ride this morning and weirdly, I actually felt guilty at the beginning of it. Like, oh, this is, this is not okay. This is a cheat. You are not really working out today. But honestly, I think that is something I really have to like relearn because uh, it's like, it's very much a do less today so you can do more tomorrow because like there's no doubt I'm getting very exhausted on some days and what I kind of like about uh, doing this what I'm learning is that it's like opening up the entire Peloton library to me because like before I never would have chosen one of these because like why would I hop on for something so easy but honestly I think I'm underestimating what I think is easy too because like I was still pretty sweaty at the end of it like you still burn a ton of calories just being on the bike for 20 or 30 minutes even on a low impact ride so um, that that has been like a cool discovery and it's like opening up more possibilities uh, doing it all right we're on day 19 and I'm not gonna lie motivation is low today I slept in this morning which I think I needed so I think I'm glad I did that but I missed the opportunity to work out before I had to start like getting all the kids up and getting ready to go to work myself. And it's easy in the morning to be like, I'll just do it later. But now it's later, it's right after the kids are put to bed. Usually this is when I sit down and can finally relax. Today, now I have to do a ride so that I don't break the streak 19 days in. And I'm already doing the math like, oh God, I'm gonna have to wake up tomorrow morning now and do one to get back on track, which means like in the next 12 hours, I'm gonna have done the workout twice. It's like, it's okay. It's really not that bad. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get through it. Just, this is one of those, this is one of those days where you really, it's really an extra effort to come down and do it. Oh my gosh, so in addition to having low motivation for that ride last night, the other thing I cannot recommend doing more is not wearing full length pants because oh my gosh, so hot, so sweaty. But not the point. The point is motivation. That is another thing I'm finding like really encouraging about just having this system of doing something every day for 30 days because it's like, what I feel like I'm learning is that even when I really don't wanna go do something, I still can go do it and get it done and like just not let excuses and other things get in the way. Like I can go down and still do a ride even if it's gonna be hard. It's not gonna take that long. Like 
it, it might be hard, but I can do it. In fact, on that exact note, um, doing so many of these rides, you get a lot of like motivational quotes spat at you by the uh, whoever the instructors are. My favorites, by the way, are absolutely uh, Ben Aldis and Emma Lovewell. They are my favorites. If you want, if you want to start somewhere, I recommend either of them. Very good. In particular, though, uh, one quote has really been sticking with me throughout the month, and it's it sort of become like my little mantra. And it is just the phrase, "You can do hard things." And like anytime, I'm like in the middle of a ride thinking, I don't know if I want that extra resistance point, I would just think about that. Or if I like don't wanna do it, I'll think about that. And I found that like even in regular life when I'm uh, facing things that like, I don't, this is gonna be a hard thing I don't wanna do today, like I would just sort of like keep saying that to myself. So it's really been sticking with me. And um, I've actually, I have gone as far as to have our graphic artist here at the office come up with some signs or some just like, uh, yeah, basically a motivational poster that says you can do hard things. My plan is to have it printed and hang it right in front of the bike because there's this big blank wall and that's what's gonna go. And then anytime I'm riding, I can just look up and be like, you can do hard things. So now I'm gonna say it to you, the viewer or whatever it is, you can do hard things. All right, it is day 25. We're inside the last week of the challenge. This Saturday will be the last day. Today, however, I woke up at like 4 a.m., couldn't fall back asleep. I watched TikTok in bed for like an hour and I was like, you know what? Screw it. It's fine. I'm just going to get up and I'll just be done early. I'm just going to do my ride right now. So here we go. Okay, okay, check this out, check this out. Two Mondays ago, I did this ride right here, the 20 minute climb ride, and I decided that each Monday I was gonna do it again to see how we did. So first time I did 227, then you can see one week later, I got up to 231. So total improvement, not a ton, but progress. Then check it out, this is the ride we just did boom 258 just two weeks later that is so much progress not only that not only is 258 my 20 minute pr for the month it is my 20 minute pr ever honestly i'm like super proud of myself for that uh, i did not think waking up this early on a monday morning uh i didn't super want to do it but man i, I the last time i set a pr for 20 minutes was like over a year ago when I was doing lots of real life mountain biking, a lot like on the weekends. And it was crazy how much that helped because you go for such long rides. And I would come back here and then I would start beating my old PRs. So now I've just been on the bike for a long time. And uh, you know, I was, I'm super, I would love to go actually outside and bike again. It was really great weather. I want to do that again soon. I want to see how this translates doing this much riding. Whew. But that just, that put me in a really good mood. Uh, last night we had a Google Hangout and I didn't do my Peloton ride in the morning, so I actually did it during the call, which everyone was very cool about. Thank you guys if you're watching. Um, and then I woke up at six this morning to do today's Peloton ride, which means that in the last 12 hours, I'm going to have done three workouts. So all three of which are gonna be leg focused. Never skip leg day. <laughs> all right, we have reached day 28. So I have just three rides to go which means uh, I've, I've sort of planned it out. Today, I'm kind of exhausted and it's already kind of late. Uh, so I'm just taking today pretty easy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try and do a pretty basic regular ride. And then on the final day, I'm gonna do the same ride I did on the very first day and see how much I've improved. Hopefully a lot, but we'll see. I'm also kind of excited about that one because it was a Disney ride. I thought that was a very fun one to start on. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Final three, day 20. Nine, almost done! Oh my gosh, we did it. I had to take my shirt off, it was getting so hot down here. Now it could not have ended on a more positive note. Not only, not only did we absolutely destroy our April 1st number on the same ride, but I set a brand new 30 minute PR all time on the Disney ride, which, oh my gosh, you can't even imagine if I was on like a climb ride or like a high intensity ride. Like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I saw like halfway through the ride that I was getting really close. I was starting to catch it, I was like seven points off. And then we went to like a climb section. I was like two points off. So I will admit 
I will admit when I got towards the end, I went a little off book. I stopped listening to Emma as much at any time. Anytime it looked like past me was inching up on my new leading number, I, just, I would just like stand up and push. So like, I gotta do this, I've got the momentum right now, I have the energy, I'm going for it. And oh my gosh, we got it. Three, six, nine is the final number, the new 30 minute PR. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh, I can't believe it. I did not think I was gonna set a new 30 minute PR this, this month. I didn't think I was gonna set a new 20 more minute PR this month, but I did both this week. Oh. Feels really good. Wow, look at this. Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? That is what Roanoke looks like in May because it's May because we made it all 30 days in April. I'm honestly really proud of myself for the whole month. It was definitely challenging on a lot of days. I do have an after photo to go with the before photo and I was a little surprised there was some change. Like I definitely uh, trimmed up a lot. I feel like just like a little, a little bit slimmer everywhere, especially in my face. How does my, does my face look better? Overall, I would say I just feel very encouraged. Uh, like, I don't think I'm gonna continue doing it every single day, but I do think I'm gonna try and like add in an extra ride or two just to like my weekly routine. I actually woke up this morning at like 5 a.m. or something, and I could tell I wasn't gonna be going back to sleep, and it occurred to me like, oh, maybe I should go do a ride, and I didn't, because it was like the, the first day done. I was like, no, I'm resting today. But like, I was still really encouraged by the fact that my brain was like, oh yeah, you know what? This would be a good time. You can go do that right now. You can do hard things. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was encouraging. Um, I would encourage anyone, anyone to try it because it was, um, I think it is doable and it, I, it just, it felt really good. I feel like I could very much, I want to take on like a, another challenge, suggestions, other things I could try for a month. Uh, let me know down below. I'd be up for something. That was, that was fun. Actually more than anything would have made me really want to do is to get back on my real bike and start go biking outside again. So maybe we'll try and plan some of that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button, like, See you next time. Bye.